Okay, conversion factors, but this time, exercise 2B, we're dealing with the English unit and the metric unit. We have to be ready for both, but in general, science uses the metric unit. But since we live in America and we use the English system, we're going to have to be ready for that too. Alright, so, a couple of things to remember here. The English to English conversions, things like... Well, we'll show you a bunch. 12 inches per every one foot. Um, 16 ounces per every one pound. These will be given on your conversion sheet. And of course they're known exactly. So an infinite number of significant figures. Okay? Metric to metric conversions, since this is the language of science, you have to be able to know these vocabulary words. Then metric to metric conversion factors I will give you but you have to memorize them I'll tell you which ones you have to know but you have to memorize those and these are also known exactly infinite number sig figs however the English to metric conversions I will give those to you on the conversion sheet but these are measured conversion factors because the English system and the metric system are not from the same system this is something like, English to English would be like uh, 100 cents is the same as one dollar. Metric to metric might say um, um, some sort of euro to euro conversion. If we go from euros to dollars, that's a measured conversion factor. It's not known exactly. It changes every day. It changes every minute, actually. So, this information will be given to you, but it can limit the number of sig figs. Okay. So, here are the important metric conversions that you need to be ready for in this class. Real fast. A kilo anything is equal to a thousand of that thing. So, one kilo... Um, Cookie is equal to 1,000 cookies. That will be one big cookie. K is short for kilo. Or one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Kilometer. Okay. One liter is equal to 10 deciliters. Small d for deci. Think of decade. D. 10. One gram or one liter or one meter or whatever. One anything is equal to 100 centa, whatever it is. Gram, gram. Okay, so 100 centigrams is the same as one gram. C for centa, century, 100 years. All right? One whatever is equal to 1,000 milli whatevers. In this case, we're saying one second is equal to 1,000 milliseconds. 1,000 like the millennium when from the 1900s to the 2000s. Small m stands for milla. Okay? One whatever is equal to 1 times 10 to the 6th or a million micro whatevers. Micro things are really small so it takes like a million of them to make up one of the whole thing. So one meter is the same as one million micrometers. That's the symbol for micro. It's the Greek letter mu. Looks like a funky U. And then one, whatever, one gram is equal to one times ten to the ninth, one billion nanograms, small n. There's many more metric conversions, but these are the ones you'll need for our tests. Okay, great. So, how do we go about our business? Well, having our conversion relationship sheet handy. And having this in our brain and remembering which conversions are exact and which ones are measured, we should be able to easily do these problems. These problems being these. Notice that whenever I'm doing problems, guys, I write them down. I show all the steps in a notebook in order with some way to easily be able to see my work perhaps even correct it underneath, you need to be doing the exact same thing. Have a notebook that's yours. Check it out. This is the Chemistry Homework Notebook of Chemistry Awesomeness. 
and you better be ready for that too. Alright, so let's go write these down, do the work, figure out your road map, figure out the sig figs and units in your answer, hit pause, get your work, come back and we'll check it out. Okay? Pause. Okay, we're back. Let's see what we need to do. On these problems, you want to judge whether you're going English to English, metric to metric, or English to metric. In this case, meters to centimeters, that's metric to metric. M to M. And not only that, but you should be able to remember that that's a one-step deal. Meters to centimeters. So, how do we go about our business? We start with our number, 47.010 meters. That means meters on the bottom and centimeters on top. Since we can get to the base, which is like the meters, this one's easy. 100 centimeters per one meter. Meters cancel. We're left with centimeters. My question is, how many sig figs am I answer? How many sig figs is in 47.010? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? How many in 100 centimeters per 1 meter? That's a metric to metric conversion. It's exact, not 3. So the answer will have 5 sig figs. And that answer is 47010. No, that's right, it's 47.010. 1.0. I better use a calculator. I was ready to write down the wrong answer, even though I had a calculator right in my hand. Fatal mistake. Use the calculator. Yep. 4,701.0. Next problem, kilograms to micrograms. Okay, well what about kilograms to micrograms? Well, I don't have a one-step deal for that, but I know I can get back to the base. Kilograms to grams, and then grams to micrograms. So that's a two-step deal, okay? 3.2 kilograms. What's bigger, a kilogram or a gram? It's a kilo, right? So it takes a whole bunch of grams, a thousand of them, to make one kilo. Once I'm at grams, what's bigger, a gram or a microgram? Well, a gram's bigger, so it takes a whole bunch of micrograms to make one gram. Okay, everything cancels except micrograms. And you just simply punch the numbers in. 3.2 times 1,000 times 1 times 10 to the 6th equals. Three point two times ten to the ninth micrograms. Since this number is two sig figs and both of these are metric to metric conversions, they are both exact, so the final answer has two sig figs. Not bad. Okay, let's keep going. How about this guy? Inches to meters. Well this is an English and this is a metric. If you take a quick look at your conversion sheet under length, the very first conversion is metric to English under volume. The very first conversion is English to metric under mass. The very first conversion is English to metric. So that first one is whenever you have to go to a different system. Notice that they have lots of sig figs, or they're even known exactly by definition. That means we don't want our conversion factor to limit our sig figs if we can help it. That's why these measurements in liters or grams or centimeters were done so carefully. Okay, so 
English to metric means that at some point you're going to have to get to the English to metric conversion which is inches to centimeters. Well, once you're at centimeters you can get to meters. This actually ends up being just a two-step process. 5.91 inches inches goes on the bottom, centimeters on top. Remember what it says, 2.54 centimeters for every one inch. So the 2.54 goes with the centimeters and the one inches goes with the one. Inches cancel, so we're at centimeters. Centimeters on the bottom, meters on top. We already did that one up there. The 100 goes with the centimeters, and the 1 goes with the meters. The centimeters cancels. Alright, so what's our answer? And how many sig figs? times 2.54 divided by 1,000. I'm sorry, 100. That's calculator 0 0.150114. So what am I going to write? Well, how many sig figs in 5.91? Three. How many sig figs in 2.54 over 1? Hmm, what do you think? Feels like it should be three, right? Exact by definition. We talked about that in class. That's just one of those ones that you just have to read your conversion sheet. Infinite. And then 100 centimeters to one meter, that's a metric to metric. That's also exact. So the final answer is going to be three, and it's 0 0.150 meters. Values right, sig figs is right, units are right. Okay, we got uh, one more here. 5.1 tons is equal to how many kilograms? Well, this is English. This is metric. So at some point, we're going to have to be able to go English to metric or metric to English, and that's pounds to grams, right? There it is. The metric to metric, metric to English conversion is pounds to grams. So, tons to pounds, we know how to do that. Pounds to grams, we know how to do that. And grams to kilograms, we know how to do that. One, two, three steps. All right, 5.1 tons. Write down the first one with the units. Make the units work. Tons to pounds, that's our first conversion. There are 2,000 pounds in one ton. Tons cancel. We're left with pounds. Good so far. Pounds to grams. Pounds on the bottom, cancels out the pounds. Grams on top. There it is. One pound, 453.59237 grams. Since this number is known to two sig figs, we can get away with 454 grams for every one pound. As long as you have more sig figs here than in your original number, you should be good. We're at grams to get to kilos. There are a thousand grams in one kilogram grams cancel. The only units we have left that don't have a cancel mark through them are kilograms. Okay, so let's punch that through our calculator. 5.1 times 2,000 times 454 divided by 1,000. No intermediate numbers. Let my calculator do the work for me. 4.6308 times 10 to the third. That's what the calculator says. How many sig figs am I answer? Well, you have to go back and check. There's two. Infinite. Three. Infinite. 
answer is 2, 4.6 times 10 to the third. Here are the answers to the rest. Did you get those? Hope you did. Good luck.